Creating an online portfolio is a necessary and daunting task for anybody new to writing. In the digital era, employees and agencies look to these online resumes before considering calling a candidate for an interview. A strong online presence can bring new clients to your door and cultivate a sustainable income for you as a writer. There's just one problem. You're a writer, not a web designer. Fortunately, WebPress is here with an easy-to-use platform that is perfect for creating your online portfolio with these easy-to-follow instructions so you can so you can establish your online presence in just a few hours. So first, we're going to go to webpress.com, and we're going to really be doing a lot of our work on here because this is the actual tool setup that we're going to be doing. Next, we're going to go to a click and start your website, and we're going to use an obviously fake email that I have set up off to the side, and it's going to be like something really obvious that's not a, my email. So it wants me to use a username, and I don't want to give it that. So I'm going to give it the first part of the email, and I'm going to click random buttons that I set aside for a password, because I'm never going to use this account again. So we're going to go to create our account, and we're going to look and see that we have the professional thing that says show your portfolio and work. This is what we're really going to be doing, because we are creating a portfolio for ourselves. And this is what we're really going to be wanting to show people for our work and where we're going to keep this stuff. So we see in the top part that it says popular things is a writer. And obviously, since you're a writer, you're going to want to use this as a basic setup that we're going to have. So I'm going to give it a name that is very obviously not mine. And it's, it's, boom, I'm Jon Snow. Hello. So we're going to look for a domain. Or what we're really looking for a domain. And I'm going to pick something simple like writer for our domain setup. And it's going to really help us try to find a domain we want. So it's going to give us these different price options for writing.inc because it matches us exactly or onewritings.com because .com is, a, is the most common thing. And you see all these other different extensions that we can have for a thing and including a free wordpress.com link that obviously nobody's ever going to find out if they just go Google search it because of all of those random numbers at the end. So I'm going to select free because I'm not going to spend money on this video. And here it's going to ask for the different kind of plans or what we're really looking for with this actual setup. And again, I'm not really so sure, so I'm going to start with a free site. From here, we're going to be able to see our main front page. It's going to give us what we can do to update our front page or other pieces of information off to the left where homes and stats are. And if we look up to the right, the small icon, we can see our personal information where we can add our actual name, our last name, change our display name, write something about myself, or like change block settings or security setups for a new password or manage purchases or account settings for whatever's going on. So we're going to go back to the main setup and really start showing you how to create stuff for your page. So you see on sites, there are both pages and posts. Posts are things, something similar to an Instagram post, so things that'll change very often and things that are able to just like, boom, this is what I've done recently. And pages are things that I'm planning on keeping on my page for a long time. So we're going to start with a new page. When we click new page, it takes us to a thing called a block editor, where we see all these different block templates for what we're going to be writing. And it's going to help us walk through. So we see stuff with different little columns and segments, or we have contact information, or if you want to put photos for a por photo portfolio, we have portfolios of photos and even things that link to videos down here. This allows us to really have a lot of customizable evidence and customize to exactly what you want for what your pages are going to look like. So we're going to go back and I'm going to show you how to work with your design because you might want to customize your actual thing or work with some of the things they already have here. All of these themes are free from what we from the actual way of page itself and from what we can find. All of these are free and customizable to yourself as long as you can go in there and actually work with what you have. So we're going to really take you to like my home and show you that to launch your site, you need to have a confirmed email, which obviously the email I gave them was not confirmed. It's not, I'm doing this with a fake email, so I don't randomly give out my own information, but down in manage and in settings, we can also adjust the state of how your web page is launched. So we can see that there is uh, in settings, there's this grayed out area underneath where you please confirm your email. 
and it's very it's very very faint to see but it's also the similar setup to the launch setup on the front page where it says public or private and you can save these settings to actually adjust whether your page can be seen by anybody or not when you launch your page it will also give you a URL link to be able to give to other people or link on a resume to be able to hand out your your portfolio to other people so they can go and see it this is useful for sharing your information that is like different pieces and from people when we look in the people section because you might not want to be doing this all by yourself or you might want to give some people some opportunity to really adjust stuff you can give them and you can give them different roles administrator editor author contributor or viewer these all give them different permissions to be able to adjust your page as well as just like being able to help you work and give comments on what's going on these are really going to be useful for whatever you're going to be looking for for your major improvement of your page this is a section where it actually gives you some writing information in the uh, additional information section also on the page and with this information and all of these extra places for finding information you will now be able to set up a base level WordPress portfolio